JSW Steel may finally emerge victorious in the battle for control of uh, Bhushan Steel and Power. ET now in fact learns that the lenders of the debt-ridden uh, company may actually bid which values uh, the company at 19,700 crores. Nantara Rai, my colleague, joins in with exclusive details on this one. Nantara? That's right, ET now learns exclusively from sources Sajjan Jindal's JSW all set to clinch Bhushan Power and Steel. It's part of the first two lists of the RBI uh, for expeditious resolution. Like SR Steel, Bhushan Power and Steel has certainly been at the heart of a mega corporate battle. What we understand is that at the end of a two-day e-voting process, more than 66.6% .6 of the lenders have voted in favor of JSW and its revised bid of 19,700 crore rupees. I'm going to add a big but here because if there's anything I've learned in the recent past reporting on insolvency and bankruptcy court, never rule out twists and turns unless an asset is actually handed over and all the paperwork is done. So JSW will get Bush in power and steel unless uh, Liberty House of the UK and Tata Steel decide to revise their bid upwards. That could be the only other uh, twist standing in the way of Sajjan Jindal acquire, uh, and JSW acquiring Bush in power and steel. As it is, this particular asset, we've seen a big battle, as I told you. At one time, it looked like Tata Steel was going to get... Um, Bush and Power in a bit 17,000 crore rupees. But then came Liberty House from the UK, said we are not from India. We got confused between Bush and Steel and Bush and Power and Steel and therefore missed the deadline. The courts allowed that bid to be uh, considered by the lenders. And then JSW also decided to increase its bid. It put the highest offer on the table at 19,700 crore rupees. Tata's had knocked on the doors of all the way till the Supreme Court were unsuccessful. So let's see how this one pans out. But this is very important to JSW also because, you know, it hasn't been a big winner in the entire IBC process. Yes, it's got... Uh, only one asset, Monitor's part. Uh, it's trying to bid solo for SR Steel. And if it does want to do that, it's going to have to bid more than 42,000 crores. It lost Bushin Steel to Tata Steel, uh, which can allow Tata's to overtake JSW to regain lost glory and be India's largest steel maker. So let's see how this one goes. For now, JSW seems to be the big winner. Yes, indeed. Thanks, Anthar, for getting us that story.